People produce huge volumes of waste every single day. In fact, worldwide, humans produce over 4 million metric tons every 24 hours. That's the same weight as 330 million average passenger cars. Times that by 365 days a year, that's a mind-blowing amount of waste. With an increasing global population, coupled with economic development, this gigantic problem is only increasing and exasperating existing waste issues, such as polluted water, air and land, and its contribution to climate change. This massive problem needs immediate participation from all individuals, governments and industry to reduce this harmful and wasteful use of our valuable natural resources. For example, the small island nation of the United Kingdom has roughly 65 million people, produces 95 million metric tons of waste per year. That's the weight of 79 million passenger vehicles. And without the necessary infrastructure to process this waste, much of it goes into landfill throughout the country. It will take billions of dollars of investment to deal with this growing waste problem. So, who is responsible for producing all this waste? In the UK, about 50% of the total waste produced is from residential sources. The other half is from industry. The collection and responsibility of the residential 50% is usually handled by local municipalities, while industry uses commercial waste disposal services. And where does all this waste go? In most developed countries, waste is managed through a reverse hierarchy or inverted pyramid structure. This is used to minimize the amount of waste that ends up in landfill, with the ultimate goal of a zero waste system creating a circular economy. There are six levels of this hierarchy. The first level requires us to think and reduce consumption of products that are not recyclable or compostable. The second is for us to reuse packaging and material whenever possible. The third level is to redirect waste and help sort material so it gets to the appropriate waste treatment facilities. The fourth level is for specialized processing facilities to recycle material and reintegrate it back into manufacturing processes to produce new products. The missing piece of this waste puzzle is energy recovery. Energy is produced from the collected waste that cannot be recycled and prevents it from being landfilled. This is where Clean Industries comes in. Clean Industries waste recovery technologies produce alternative energy in the form of combined cooling, heating and power, which can be sold to local businesses or fed back into the grid. The energy is clean, reliable and economical. Our facilities recover 99% of all the waste we collect, while offsetting hundreds of thousands of tons of greenhouse gas emissions annually, doing so without the harmful environmental effects associated with other more traditional thermal energy facilities and landfill practices. One of our large-scale energy recovery facilities currently process approximately 1,500 tons a day. That's over 500,000 tons a year with daily operations producing less emissions than six average passenger vehicles. For the last 15 years, Clean Industries, along with our partners, have been implementing and applying these clean technologies around the globe to deal with these monumental challenges. Our facilities reduce local waste volumes, create meaningful jobs, improve the environment, and assist local communities shift towards a low-carbon, circular economy we all want and desperately need. Contact Clean Industries to help solve your waste problems.